it's time for our daily devotion, daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. Christ, 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 in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christo do Gino Baga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. May 29, 2020 Matthew 11 verses 2 to 3 Verse 2 Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples. 3 Said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy like the Savior's disciples, John the Baptist did not understand the nature of Christ's kingdom. He expected Jesus to take the throne of David, and as time passed, and the Savior made no claim to kingly authority, John became perplexed and troubled. In his mission the Baptist had stood as a fearless reprover of iniquity, both in high places and in low. He had dared to face King Herod with the plain rebuke of sin. He had not counted his life dear unto himself, that he might fulfill his appointed work. But Jesus seemed to content himself with gathering disciples about him, and healing and teaching the people. There were hours when the whisperings of demons tortured his spirit, and the shadow of a terrible fear crept over him. Could it be that the long hope for a deliverer had not yet appeared? But the Baptist did not surrender his faith in Christ. The memory of the voice from heaven and the descending dove, the spotless purity of Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit that had rested upon John as he came into the Savior's presence, and the testimony of the prophetic scriptures all witnessed that Jesus of Nazareth was the promised one. John would not discuss his doubts and anxieties with his companions. He determined to send a message of inquiry to Jesus. This he entrusted to two of his disciples, hoping that an interview with the Savior would confirm their faith, and bring assurance to their brethren. And he longed for some word from Christ spoken directly for himself. By Ellen G. White Desire of Ages, pages 215.